guys and welcome back to yesterday's wishes. Today I'm going to do a favourites video for you all. My August favourites. I haven't done a favourites video in ages. In fact I've only ever done one on this channel so I will get right into it. Also, sorry for the background. My room is an absolute mess because I'm moving out into my flat soon in about a month. So there is no room for the camera. So you have a lovely view of my back garden and Olga's head and all sorts of lovely stuff like diggers and things. Lovely. Okay. Um, so my first favourite is Cherry Me um, Baby Lips by Maybelline. Um, the reason that I like this so much is because it smells of strawberries. That's one. And the other one is the fact that it looks like a lip salve and feels like a lip salve on. So you don't feel like you're actually having to put lipstick on and blah blah blah. I'm wearing it on my lips currently and the more you apply the thicker it gets and the more colour goes on your lips. It's really easy to apply so personally for me being blind I just wipe this on. I don't have to look in the mirror and I actually look like I've got some colour in my lips so that's really cool. really recommend that. It's quite cheap as well. My second favourite is the Honey and Oat Mask by Body Shop. Um, it has like little honey bits in and it smells like bananas in my opinion. Um, it's quite thick and I wouldn't say it's like a hydrating mask, it's more like nourishing for your face. It's really helped my spots actually because I'm suffering with a bit of acne at the moment which isn't very really nice if it's just been summer but hopefully it'll clear up if, it's got any, if this mask has got anything to do with it. It's a three in one cleanse, polish and moisturising face mask and it's for normal to dry skin so I'd really recommend that you pick this up guys. My next favourite is Dove Dry Shampoo. Personally I don't get on with dry shampoos for their actual use to make your hair look nice even when you haven't washed your hair. I feel like that this doesn't do that for my hair but what it does do is really volumise it. I've got it in now to like volumise my curls. It smells good but it's quite pricey. And if you're going to spray it in your hair, it, you know, it doesn't really smell like a normal dry shampoo. So in that sense it's good, but in the actual stakes of a dry shampoo, I'd say a VO5 one would be better if you wanted to actually make your hair feel a lot nicer if you haven't washed it. But this is really good for volume. My next absolute love for this month and ultimate find in my opinion is Lush's Jackie Oates colour supplement. It's like a tinted moisturiser and for me being blind again I just whack this on my face with a stippler brush um, with my Real Techniques one and it just goes on. I don't even need to worry about rubbing in all sorts of lines on my face or anything. It smells quite odd. Like I couldn't describe to you the smell because it just a weird moisturiser smell basically but it's a little tub but there's lots in it like I've hardly dented the bottle apparently according to my sister and I've had it I've worn it every day for about two weeks so yeah it doesn't necessarily cover spots if you have loads so you also need concealer on the top of this obviously because it's like a tinted moisturiser but what I would say about this is that it, if you want a tinted moisturiser that you know isn't really orange because most tinted moisturisers are they do really really fair ones because I'm so fair and this matches my skin perfectly, the lightest Jackie Oats um, mid-tone so go for that, it's about £9 too so it's really affordable. Next product is the Herb Garden Essential Tea Tree Oil. This is about £2 from Body Care and it doesn't have to necessarily be Herb Garden Essential Oil. It's literally just plain tea tree oil, smells really really strong and you just whack it on your spots. I've been gassing Olga at night because I'm sure she probably doesn't really like this scent. I've been trying to open my windows so she doesn't like sneeze but she's been like with her nose. So I feel really bad but it's getting rid of my spots Olga so I'm sorry. I don't have anything else other than to say that this dries out your spots. It's really good. Don't whack loads of it on your face because it can spread them. If you don't actually get the individual spots then you might have an issue. But overall I've found this useful this month and I recommend it. I have a clothing item for August and it is my Topshop Scort that I purchased. It is a mid-tone blue mostly and it has loads and loads of little dark blue dots and some have yellow lines in and the other blue, 
dark blue dots have little red like colouring in them and they were, it's really cute and it wasn't too pricey because I had a Topshop voucher and yeah it's really lovely great for a summer outfit paired with a little vest top um, maybe for going into autumn with like I don't know maybe you still see through tights and a darker top and some chunky heels I'm really enjoying that Thanks for watching my monthly favourites guys, I hope you enjoyed it and let me know in the comments if you want to see any more videos like this, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you very soon, bye!